Hello, my name is Bill. Hello, I'm Adam. My name's John. And we built the 6111 Robotic Sheepdog. When we arrived on campus, having grown up on farms, we noticed a deplorable lack of animals. And after failing to get permission to have grazing rights on Killian Court, we decided we'd do something more creative about it. So we built the machine you see before us. Okay, the purpose of this project is to keep this sheep, actually, within this plain or grazing area. Okay. Um, the, the project is broken up into three different parts. We have the video part. Now, there's a camera that's up there in the rafters. It's about 12 feet up there, and it's viewing this entire area. Okay, it's going to be viewing the sheep and the dog. And it passes signals through the wires in the ceiling down into this video kit. The video kit then relays the positions onto the strategy kit over here through this wire. Okay, the strategy kit then decides what path the dog should follow. It then sends that through this wire into the motor control kit. The motor control kit then controls two DC motors in there and sends the signals through this wire back up into the ceiling, around a couple rafters, and down into our sheepdog. cool things about 6111 is that you can do things that you have always wanted to do in digital logic. For me, this was a vision system. Up above, there's a camera in the sky that watches the field. This was the sensor for our project. It sees a number of dots on the, on the floor, white on black, and sends a signal to this kit. The kit simply thresholds them, taking only the things that are brighter than a certain level. In this case, the two, there are two dots that correspond to the dog and one that's the sheep. The parsing algorithm turns them into rectangles, chooses the centers of each object, and ships them in order to the next kit. I mean, we got this, this square pasture here. We got the sheep in the middle. We start with three dots. And what we're going to do is really the same thing that almost everybody did as a kid with a Radio Shack toy. You got a forward and back button. You got a left and right button. So this is a remote controlled toy. And I'm going to send those two pieces of information down the yellow wire. So we're going to watch some basic movements as the dog keeps its eye out on the sheep. Tracking along the four edges. No particular rush, because the sheep's asleep. Dogs eyeing the sheep all the time, going nice and slow. Now we're going to move the sheep a little away from the center. Notice how the dog speeds up. It's getting a little nervous. We're going to move this sheep even further. The dog butts the sheep back into the center. Satisfied, it slows down, tracking the edge again. Now the sheep can uh, be rammed back into the center. Once it's a little livelier, we're going to wake it up now and watch that mathematical shortest path. The dog slows down a bit because it successfully rammed the sheep back to where it belongs, in the center pasture. Dog just sped up because it saw the sheep moving towards the edge. On the edge, it rams it back into the center. Close enough, satisfied, it goes back to its perimeter. Push them. Go get him, boy. 